Hey, what's up, guys? It's Crate Junkies. Going to quickly fly through a couple new acquisitions. Um, yeah, let's get it, let's get into it. Um, I picked up this, which is a reissue of this record, um, Jefferson Starship, um, Paul Kentner. Um, the name of the album is Blows Against the Empire. It's a reissue, um, not the gatefold um, on RCA. Very cool record. Um, the reason why I got it is because it was at a Goodwill, so it was cheap. And my original copy, which is a gatefold, and very cool, might I add. Really cool inserts. But anyway, my record is warped. So when I seen this, I was like, wow, I finally get to listen to, the, to it. It's in great shape, and it was like not even a buck. So I picked that up. Very happy with that. Um... We're listening to the duo to Safari Spices in the background, which is a really cool, not sure yet if it's like Jewish or Indian um, type pop record, a little psychedelic, a little funky at times. It's a really interesting record, and it's really enjoyable. I've been listening to it a lot, and I, I truly love it. For anybody who likes foreign type stuff like this, you know, if you can ever find it, very cool record. I'm sure you could possibly get it on a download. Um, but yeah, um, what else do I got here for you guys? Oh, yeah. Path the El Dowd by Alice Coltrane, yeah. Um, and Pharaoh Sanders and Hen um, Joe Henderson. Just a really cool um, classic jazz record. Really, really dope. Um, it's a gatefold, nothing too spectacular on the inside, but yeah, really cool. Pick that one up. That's an original on Impulse. Um, this 30 Days Out record, um, ended up, I got this for like 50 cents at a show. It's on reprise, or reprise. Um, this ended up being a really good record. Um, kind of psych, rock, a little bluesy. Um, very cool. If you ever see this out and about, Actually, um, what is his name? I think it's Monty Melnick, who was actually um, a tour manager for the Ramones. I think that is him. I'm not sure if it's him or not. I think that might be the right guy. One of these guys, I believe it's him, was the tour manager for the Ramones when they went on tour. But yeah, a really great album nonetheless. Um, next one, this one wasn't as good as I'd hoped. This is an original pressing, original copy of Earth Opera's um, The Great American Eagle Tragedy. Um, you know, psychedelic rock, but, you know, uh, just for me, it wasn't the greatest thing in the world. It was too... It just wasn't... I don't know. It just didn't have what I was looking for. Um, but yeah, it's an original on Elektra. Pretty nice record. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not... It's not exactly my flavor. Next one, this was really cool. Um, McCoy Tyner, um, Asante. This is on Blue Note. Um, very cool jazz record. Um, you know, post bop type stuff. Um, you know, really cool. I mean, I, I don't know one more to say about it. If you ever see it, pick it up. I mean, it's a damn good record. Definitely pretty cool. Next one, Edward Vasala with Satu. Um, really cool. There's, you know, fusion-y parts on this as well, but it's mainly, like, contemporary, even free at times. Um, jazz on ECM. Definitely a classic ECM re release. One, two, definitely pick up if you like ECM stuff. Next one, this is probably the best record I picked up this week or, you know, within the last three weeks because I this is basically what I've gotten in the last three weeks. I haven't been doing a lot of digging lately. But this is Collective um, on the Brain label from, I think, 73 on uh, the Brain Metronome label. This is a reissue, but what a fantastic fusion fucking record. You know, rock, jazz, fusion... Um, instrumental. This is fan fucking tastic. I mean, if you ever get a chance to get this record, please do yourself a favor. Find the reissue of this or the original is like two fifty. So good luck with that. But I mean, get the re reissue. It's in really. I mean, it's in fantastic shape. It's um, 
a killer reissue. Sounds great. It was done very well. Next one, Time Win by Klaus Schultz. If you're familiar with like Tangerine Dream, Brain Records. Um, this is an original on Brain. Um, just really cool ambient experimental stuff. Um, there's a little surprise on this record. If you get it and listen to it on some headphones, you'll find that out. I'm not going to give the secret away now, but I just think it's a really cool thing. Just a fantastic record. Side 2 is a little different from Side 1. 30 minutes each side. Uh, just fantastic. Fantastic ambient electronical music. Really cool. Well worth a pickup if you can find it. Next one. Uh, this is Psychedelic Soul, the freak scene. This is a um, uh, radio station copy. Original on Columbia Mono. Columbia 360 Mono Pressing. Great psychedelic rock. Um, very, very cool. A must-have in a psych collection, I think. Um, this next one, really great dub. Original from 1981. This is the scientist or scientist scientific dub. Um, basically, you know, you're running the mill dub stuff on Clock Tower Records. Um, this just recently came out as a three-album set on Record Store Day on a 10-inch. Um, they were all colored vinyl. But if you know if you're in a dub and stuff, you ever see this out and about, pick it up. It's definitely classic dub shit. You'll love it. Um, next one, I got Orchid's new album on yellow vinyl. It's also etched. Um, I'm not going to show the etching only because it really doesn't show up well on screen. But yeah, yellow vinyl double LP, great. Um, you know, stoner um, stuff like that. It's, it's really good rock and roll, stoner stoner rock sludge whatever the hell you want to call it um, really good stuff next one this I showed before but I guess I'm gonna show it again mystic number National Bank really good psychedelic blues type stuff from the 70s on probe really great record there pick that up um, next one I had to get myself another uh, copy of Uncle Ass and Deadbeats mind control you know bloodlust was a great album this one's just as good I got this on white vinyl Really cool, really nice gatefold on that one. Um, this was a great album I picked up. Um, Soul, Maka Makasado or whatever, Afrique. If you ever see this, get it. Killer funk, fusion, um, funky, fusion-y um, type stuff. This is the killer fucking record. If you ever see this, grab it. On mainstream, this is badass. I mean, super badass. Thank you, Big Star, for uh, recommending that. Definitely a cool record next one um if you're into you know circa afro beat type stuff this is um a band called congas or not not congas um called destruction very very cool afro beat stuff um you know the originals of this is, is like a hard thing to get your hands on um th these guys music is not easy to find but this is you know a reissue you know they've been putting every goddamn thing on reissue lately so but it's nice to have, really cool. Next one, uh, Beatles vs. Wu-Tang, The Magical Mystery Chambers. This is fantastic. If you're into the Beatles um, and you like Wu-Tang Clan, this is basically like Beatles beats with Wu-Tang lyrics over top, um, mix and mashing. Um, really fucking awesome. Great record. Definitely well, well worth a pickup. It is unauthorized. It came out first on a digital download. I actually had this for a while. I never thought it would come out on vinyl, but when I seen it, I just had to grab it. Awesome record. Um, next one, Italian progressive music. Um, old school, you know, this is from 19, I believe like 73, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Avano Alberto Fossati. Um, the name of the album is The Great Sea That We Have Traveled. I think that's it. My Italian's not super great. But yeah, this is a fantastic Italian prog record. Like I said, though, there's a lot of Brazilian Latin jazz influences on this. And it's definitely, it's got its folky times as well. Singer-songwriter type stuff, too. But just a really good record all around. Um, it is Alberto... Um, Alberto's first record so he went on to do other things he's also an author and um, look into him because if you're into that type of thing I'm sure you've heard of him before but if not definitely a really badass record to check out it's a German import um, next one G Stoned by um, Kruder and Dorfmeister Dorfmeister 
yeah, this is badass. Um, obviously doing the Simon and Garfunkel parody cover here. But this is low tempo, uh, low tempo, um, acidy jazz fusion stuff. This is really badass um, music. I am completely in love with this record. It's only four tracks, but just really killer. If you ever find this from '93, it's their first release on a 12 inch. Like I said, four tracks, but worth picking up from '93. Next one, experimental, um, ambient, experimental, ambient, um, electronic, not all electronic though, um, Japanese, um, from 81, this is called Japanese by Akira Ito, Dude, this is a fucking fantastic record, man, um, there's a couple, you know, there's a couple tracks on here that, that use guitar as well, just really like cool ambient guitar. Um, this is a reissue on Bamboo. It came out originally on CD, I think, or it might have been pressed on vinyl, too. I think it's like an $80 record for the original, but this is a fantastic pressing. Um, if you ever see a, a pressing by Bamboo, do not hesitate to pick it up. The vinyl is fantastic, um, just fantastic, and the music is, is even just as good. Um, Derek would love this shit. I mean, I know he likes Japanese ambient type stuff. This is, this is top notch right here. Really badass record. Um, next one, this is an original pressing of Ornette Coleman's Love Call on Blue Note. Um, I'll show the Blue Note right there. Um, and I'm not really going to talk much about it. I mean, it's, it's a fantastic jazz record. It's one I've been wanting in my collection for a while. Finally picked that up. Um, next one I want to thank Sequoia Flame for introducing me. Um, if you're a fan of Acid Mother's Temple, this is definitely something you'll be into. Before Acid Mother's Temple, um, Kawabata uh, Makoto was in a band called Mainliner. Um, they recently released a, a new album. I think it's been like 12 years or something called um, Revelation Space. And I ordered this from Riot Season. Really badass fucking record. I mean, if you like... Um, if you like Acid Mother's Temple, you'll like this. It's on white vinyl, really nice um, labels on that. Actually have to keep that out to clean it. So that was that, and that was pretty cool. I found a white label promo copy of Ram Jam's Portrait of an Artist as a Young Ram. It's a white label radio station copy. Um, I picked up a Baroque record, which just classical Baroque, which I enjoy from time to time. Um, I found another really cool hillbilly record in mint condition, Big Slim, The Lone Cowboy. I've been finding a lot of these hillbilly records. This is on ARC, like I said. The, the vinyl's like the fucking near mint. Uh, the whole album is, is like near mint. And then I picked up a Chopin, a Chopin, Chopin record, which I absolutely love Chopin or Chopin. Chopin. Um, you know, a lot of people pronounce it Chopin, Chopin, whatever. Um, but one of my favorite classical artists, definitely. And, um, yeah, so I picked up this on the black and gray Columbia 360 label. And that was cheap, you know, Goodwill Find or something like that. But that's what I got. Um, kept it under 15 minutes. Cray Junkie, see you guys in like two weeks. Peace. Pop record. A little psychedelic, a little funky at times. It's a really interesting record, and it's really enjoyable. I've been listening to it a lot, and I, I truly love it. For anybody who likes foreign-type stuff like this, you know, if you can ever find it, very cool record. I'm sure you can... Hey, what's up, guys? It's Crate Junkies. Going to quickly fly through a couple new acquisitions. Um, yeah, let's get, let's get into it. Um... I picked up this, which is a reissue of this record. It's cheap. And my original copy, which is a gatefold, and very cool, might I add. Really cool inserts. But anyway, my record is warped. So when I seen this, I was like, wow, I finally get to listen to, the, to it. It's in great shape. And it was like not even a buck. So I picked that up. Very happy with that. Um, we're listening to... The duo to Safari Spices in the background, which is a really cool, not sure yet if it's like Jewish or Indian um, type, um, Jefferson Starship, um, Paul Kentner. Um, the name of the album is Blows Against the Empire. It's a reissue, um, not the gatefold um, on RCA. 
Very cool record. Um, the reason why I got it is because it was at a Goodwill, so...